Well, I know previously when I was talking about the Superman comics, I have I mentioned about doing the history of the DC Universe and how I found a whole bunch of different loopholes, especially with the Flash story. Well, one of the things I always thought was the Legion of Superheroes, there were so many of them, and how would you explain them all if you made it one universe? Then I remember the, Geef, the, the Keith Giffen universe, where there was no Superman, this was after the crisis. So they made a Kent Shakespeare, and they had the Earth destroy the Legionnaires got older, but in that storyline that he did, they had a batch that they found they'd be called the Legionnaires. They called it S6, basically implying that the Legion had been cloned. I like that idea. It was interesting. And as you can tell with DC, the way it's been lately, they've been using the cloning concept a, a bit more than usual. But instead of just doing a Legion that took place roughly the same time, or the last Legion series where it took, took place in the year 3300, not 3100, I figured let's jump ahead completely. Let's go 4,200, 4,500. And what I decided to do was to bring back some Legion characters, sort of, but also mix in some other twists, for example, involving you know, the Counter-Earth that got destroyed, uh, involving the clone batches, and of course, this whole Legion future is based on the concept of the current Last Legion, where they apparently destroyed the Daemonite homeworld. Well, the Daemonites decided to go on a thousand year war where they actually encircle the galaxy and they sort of shrink inwards and they force space travel to be a really rare thing. They wipe out species and they call themselves the Red Circle now. Ha ha! Which also ties into a whole bunch of other concepts we've already sort of thrown at you. So what we have here, for example, one of my favorite characters, the Prodigal. Yes, implying the Prodigal Son. Um, I won't mention names, but basically Power levels of a certain kryptonite, we know. We have the Grey Sun, for example. We have basically descendants of some of the DC characters from now, descendants from some of the characters from the Legion. So it makes for a very interesting concept behind of it. I won't go into detail about all of them. Uh, there are a couple Legionnaires I bring back. For example, Wildfire I bring back. He's energy. He can't kill him. He's undestroyable, sort of. So basically, this is the Legion. So if you take a look at them real briefly, you'll see that there's a nice little group of Legion. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about The Wanderers, another series set in the same time period as the Legion of Superheroes from currently, but also a series that we can also put in the far future as well. So let's move on down and take a look at the Wanderers. Now, the Wanderers concept originally was based on a group, a small group of heroes sort of traveling the world doing right. It's the same thing in this unit. These are sort of superheroes at that time who do not want to be part of the Legion, but they also want to do stuff from behind the scenes. So we have, that would be their ship. And of course we have a selection of Wanderers. I chose to do a bit more of the uh, non-humanoids as well. And if you remember when I was talking about the Superman story, where he had his sister, well I kind of tweaked you a little bit. In this far future, it's actually not her sister who shows up, but Superman's niece, which I named Ara. That's right, everything ties into each other. That's the way I like to work with continuity. So. To wrap things up, of course, if you're going to bring back a Legion in the future, you can bring back the Wanderers, you're going to need some villains. Yes, we're walking back again. So here we are at the Legion wall. And of course, for the Legion, you need, of course, Legion villains. Characters like the Savage. Oh, look. We'll keep these for a surprise for next time. And as in reference to the Red Circle, well, there's a story behind the Red Circle, how they become the Red Circle based on the Dominion. And let's just put it this way, they have their own wonderful cast of characters as well. So that's it for the DC pitches, at least for now. We'll see you next time. Next time we'll be talking about Marvel concepts that were based on Marvel series The Civil War.